The latest cabinet position looks to be that of Linda McMahon to head the education department, as announced by Donald Trump on Tuesday. Uh, Linda McMahon, uh, as we spoke about last week, appeared to be the front runner to be the Commerce Secretary, but then Trump ended up selecting plans changed. Plans changed. Plans changed. They do a apparently change. And instead, um, the co-chair of the transition team, Howard Lutnick, co-chair with Linda McMahon, looks to be the front runner to take that post. And I don't know if this is a consolation prize. Uh, here, you take education of uh, the U.S. And um, of all the cabinet picks, I mean, not to say this one is without uh, ridicule and plenty of people realizing there is a ring boy lawsuit attached to Linda McMahon. Um Generally, this is like one of the more sane picks of some of the others um, that that have been tabbed here. But nonetheless, um, plenty of people uh, learning about Linda McMahon, learning about her involvement with WWE. And I know this is always a favorite of uh, Brandon and mine is that when Linda McMahon is thrust onto the front page of newspapers and political commentary, can the can the wrestling jokes are they still alive and well in 2024? I just wanted to get the straight news straight from the source. And uh, hopefully NPR could handle this in a unbiased way and leave pro wrestling at the side. What is clear is that she is a very successful, no nonsense businesswoman who has a ton of experience dealing with some pretty big personalities. Yeah, that she does, which uh, might come in handy if she's confirmed. So then let's talk about Trump's big promise to close the education department. How is she going to do that? Yeah, look, uh, a bipartisan group of experts have told me over the past week Closing the department is one wrestling match that McMahon probably cannot win. Bipartisan experts, they all use that exact language, a wrestling match that she cannot win. But nonetheless, um, Donald Trump laying a smackdown on education. Um, there there you go for uh, headline writers out there. But um, yes, Linda McMahon um, thrust here into a major position in the uh, Trump cabinet. And this will uh, follow her previous role as head of the Small Business Administration during the first Trump presidency, and then resigning from that post to launch the America First Policy Institute, where she has uh, raised millions and millions of dollars for the Trump reelection campaign and herself uh, donating uh, a significant amount into the eight figures for this campaign. Yeah, and Howard Lucknick and her have been co-chairing the transition team. Uh, Howard Lutnick is another major donor. She's given uh, $10 million alone to the Make America Great campaign. And another, this is this number is now too low, this 814000 that she gave to the Trump 47 Inc. campaign. Uh, she gave more after I made this report, or at least there was more that was disclosed with the periodic FEC disclosures. Um, so she's given a lot of money. This is, I compared it to, to the last presidential election where she also gave tens of millions of dollars to Trump and, and Republican causes. Uh, she gave a little bit more in 2020. Uh, so, but she still gave tens of millions of dollars in this election, in the 2016 election, 2020, and, and now in 2024. Uh, and of course, the in, 20, in 2007, uh, WWE, I guess, ultimately gave, uh, donated millions of dollars to the Trump Foundation, the now defunct group, uh, the, the Trump Foundation, ex in exchange for Trump's performances in 2007 at WrestleMania and 2009 uh, on Raw when he bought, in storyline, bought Monday Night Raw. So she's been, obviously, in, in involved in all sorts of uh, Trump-affiliated and Republican-affiliated political activities uh, since her two unsuccessful U.S. Senate campaigns. And it looks like she will be pending uh, U.S. Senate approval. The Senate does have to approve of this, as they did, uh, of, of her nomination and selection of, of being uh, the leader of the Small Business Administration. They will have to approve of her being the Secretary uh, of, of Education. Um, my understanding is that the, the, if, even if she's involved in shutting down the Department of Education, which would be a federal government entity, uh, most of the, the financial support for public education uh, comes from outside of the federal government, something like 10 percent, maybe less than 10 percent of, of all education funding is actually from the federal government. But it could happen. And it's only a department that's been around since 1979. Yeah. And it did uh, you know, get brought up shortly after this announcement. This, this goes back to 2010. This was her first run at, at the Senate. And uh, 
a controversy involving what exactly her qualifications were uh, within education. What did she major in? Well, we go back to 2010, the New York Post, the, uh, the McMahon chroniclers of record, and it reads, last year, after pro wrestling matriarch Linda McMahon was nominated to Connecticut State Board of Education, she claimed as proof of qualification her degree in education. Her degree, it was soon revealed, was in French. No matter, she was approved. And uh, this was the the focus at the time. I mean, if this is their biggest controversy uh, uh, among these uh, these cabinet appointees, I think Linda McMahon will pass with uh, flying colors. But yes, this... Uh, Everything in your past will will come back to be remembered by people uh, many years later. Also, uh, this was, I would say, like the first major focus on the Ring Boy scandal uh, with the Washington Post doing a pretty lengthy story, uh, focusing more so on the Ring Boy lawsuit in the wake of this announcement regarding Linda McMahon. And we did get um, a response from McMahon's attorney. A name, another name from the past in Laura Brevetti, more on her later, um, basically stating that the allegations laid out in the Ring Boy lawsuit were baseless and that, quote, the lawsuit based upon 30 plus year old allegations is filled with scurrilous lies, exaggerations and misrepresentations without going into any specifics. Of course, Laura Brevetti represented Vince McMahon alongside Jerry McDivitt in the 1994 steroid distribution trial and served as a senior vice president and general counsel for WWE from 2013 until 2015. And she was, um, yeah, you just said that. I was going to say, um, so she also, also in this Washington post article, uh, I've got a few notes from it here. She said she would put her financial interests in a blind trust and resign from all outside positions and board memberships. If she serves in the next administration, I, I, we don't know what uh, what what stocks she may be holding, other than obviously she holds a significant amount of WWE stock, although not nearly as much as Vince does. Um, they they did note in this Washington Post article all the donations that Linda herself has made that they made to the Trump Foundation in 2007 and 2009, and those are also, by the way, those were part of the besides the NDA payments that Vince made to numerous women who were uh, accusing him of sexual misconduct. They also had to disclose and correct their financial statements. WWE did because they determined as they were doing an audit of of these payments that Vince may have made in the past that that would have been maybe considered maybe he considered them at the time personal payments but they were actually should have been gone to the to the company so there was a trump angle to to all of this um all, all of, of the the financial as well as sexual misconduct scandal that emerged in 2022 i digress uh, and then we also had a comment from um and callus here which was i guess well let's say this first in response to this this part of the washington post article that says trump campaigned on exercising more control over the justice department claiming broad executive powers that collide with long-standing norms shielding criminal investigations from public from political influence and could try to intervene in the federal probe in Vince McMahon. that's the investigation that the southern district of new york is reportedly doing on Vince McMahon related to allegations of sexual misconduct sex trafficking, sexual assault. Uh, a spokesperson for the transition, Brian Hughes, declined to comment on the case. So there they are raising in the Washington Post the notion that Donald Trump's friendship with Vince McMahon, his relationship with, with Vince McMahon, his connection, to, strong connection clearly to Linda, uh, that could ha be a factor in what is a federal criminal investigation that has put the civil lawsuit that Janelle Grant filed on hold through about 22 days from now, uh, December 11th. So that's that's about as much as we can say about that, I guess. Uh, we do have the comment from Ann Callis in this article, too, where she says, quote, we have no control over what happens with any criminal investigation, but we have an unwavering will to see that Janelle Grant gets justice. Yeah, and I guess for, for many people, the, the takeaway in this article, I mean, maybe the, the worst kept secret in professional wrestling that the two oh, yeah, are that, separated that's the headline of course on yeah, yeah that's the one the headline everyone has run with i mean okay yes um confirmed um yes with as vince mcmahon uh, referred to her some two and a half years ago uh my wife at the time oh uh, my wife yes yes that, that was in the pat mack the interview in march that was you. yes our um maybe our last long form interview with with vince mcmahon ever um there you go. That is uh, the the Linda McMahon story that she will obviously have a, a very prominent position. And there's not to say that there will be um, a focus on the Ring Boy lawsuit as a result of this and whatever sort of um, 
uh, extension there could be to a Vince McMahon federal investigation, which still has several more weeks until the stay gets lifted on December the 11th, um, that being the date that has been um, out there for the past five, five and a half months that they have been uh, working towards uh, under this federal investigation into Vince McMahon. 